guys welcome to my channel thank you for tuning in if you are new here welcome my name is Sewa, and on this channel i film about faith personal development and then a sprinkle of lifestyle so on today's episode of keeping up with Sewa, we're going to be talking about eight ways the eight c's of discerning the will of god for your life in my previous video i spoke about you know the will of God being good, acceptable, and then perfect. So now we are going to be talking about the will of God, eight ways to discern the will of God for your life. And then I'll be, I'm sure maybe I'll be doing a part two of this video. It depends how long, I, because I don't want the video to be super long. So without further ado, let's jump right into the video. So the first way to discern the will of God for your life is communion with God through scriptures. In 2 Timothy chapter 2, verses 15, the Bible tells us that we should study the word to show thyself approved before thy maker. As a workman who needs not to be ashamed of anything, and then as a workman who is rightfully dividing the word of truth. 2 Timothy 3, verses 16 to 17 also tells us that um, all scripture is inspired by God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for instruction, for correction, so that the man of God may be made perfect and then will be thoroughly furnished in all good works. So yeah, I wouldn't even put the man of God, I would put my name there so that Sewa will be made perfect and thoroughly furnished in all good things. So for you to be able to discern the will of God, you need to communion with him. And one thing I've realized is in 2 Corinthians 13, 14, yes, 2 Corinthians verses 13, chapter 13 verses 14 the good book makes us understand that but the grace of our lord jesus christ the love of god and the fellowship of the holy spirit if you fellowship with someone if you communion with someone or you commune with someone um you get to know who and what the person is and then who and what they are and who they stand for you get to know that yes indeed this is how you can relate better to the person. Supposing you are very bad at mathematics. The more sp um, time you spend on mathematics solving questions, the better you become. So it's the same way for you to discern the will of God. You need to commune with him. Communion with God through scriptures. It is very, very important that you do that. The second C is counsel. Godly counsel. God has given us people, believers, so that we can receive godly counsel from them. Proverbs eleven fourteen tells us that, where there is no counsel, you will fall or people fall. But in the multitude of counsel, there is safety. And then this counsel can be done through love, through sincere faith and good conscience in 1 Timothy 1.15. So if you are in the multitude of good counsel, you are with good believers who give you godly counsel, you can discern the will of God for your life. So the third C I would like us to consider is circumstances of life and this is very dear to me like very dear to me sometimes we go through situations the people the places that we find ourselves around like the people around us the places we find ourselves in all these things like they are mom moment by moment steps that god works in us as well and then his purpose for our lives you, maybe you grew up in an abusive home, you were abused, you had inferiority complex. Could it be that God is calling you to work on yourself, to build yourself up so you could help people? You are in an abusive relationship or you came from an abusive home. Could it be that God is also calling you to open, you know, a home for abused children and women? You came from an impoverished background. You, you found all these difficult situations and then you were able to get out and God helped you. Could it be that God is you know how should i even put it calling you to help people or to open a charity organization or home so all these circumstances that we find ourselves in they actually help us it is for our good that is why the bible said in romans 8 28 that all things not one thing or some things all and he means all all things work together for our good for those who love god and those we've been called according to his purpose what greater joy is in there so no matter the situation you find yourself in give glory and joy to god because it is for his good and that it is for your benefit as well and then the fourth thing we'll be considering is called conscience and by conscience i mean that 
inner voice in you that serves as a moral filter that alarm in you that goes on and off when you do something good and you do something bad you see sometimes your conscience will be pricked when you are doing something good and you're like mm, i'm actually on course or it will be pricked and be like mm, i'm actually veering off the right path because i feel like this is not the will of god for my life i feel like i'm just doing it and then it will end me in doom the end thereof is not good for me so your conscience or also pricks you and makes you know it will help you to discern the will of god you'll be able to discover that this path i'm taking is actually not the will of god for me or that path i'm taking is actually the will of god for me and then scriptures like romans 2 and um, 15 and then first timothy 1 19 can actually back this up this good conscience that will see you i think it will be very very good if you have this good conscience the fifth thing we'll be considering is compulsion compulsion that strong design impulse in you that makes you do something by the promptings of the holy spirit i love this god called holy spirit like i love that man that that um that compulsion and strong desire in you by the promptings of the holy spirit in philippians 2 13 the bible tells us that he works in us both to do and then to will so when you know you have this strong desire, this strong compulsion to do something, it may actually be leading you to um, re discover your purpose. For example, this YouTube channel I started, I heard it through prayer by reading the word of God and by compulsion. And I knew that, no, God is actually calling me to do this thing. God is actually calling me to share his worth um, with his people. What better joy is it in this? than you actually knowing after studying scriptures, knowing it and having this promptings from the Holy Spirit. And then the sixth C I would like us to consider is common sense. That spirit controlled being in you. That makes you understand and you, are, you know that yes, actually by applying this knowledge or this understanding, I'll actually be on course. I'll actually I'll be aligning myself with the will of God. In one of my favorite scriptures is Job 32 verses 8 and it reads for there is a spirit in me in me in man and then the breath of the Almighty gives it understanding as I said personalize it there is a spirit in me say why you boy and the breath of the Almighty gives it understanding so that breath of the Almighty that gives you understand that common sense that knowledge will be able to help you to discern the will of God for your life and then the seventh C I want us to consider is contentment that tranquility that peace that comes with something when you are on course whenever you are doing something against the will of god you you you, you kind of have this spiritual friction and you're like mm, things are not moving well but then when you are actually in the center of course when you align with it you have this peace you have this inner joy you have this happiness in you this oil of gladness that you cannot comprehend and explain it's stated in philippians 4 7 that the peace of God that surpasses all understanding, it should guard your hearts and then your minds. So when you are actually content with whatever you are doing, when you know that you are not being forced, but you, it, it, it comes with ease to you and you are happy and you find this tranquility, this serene atmosphere around you. I think it is one way to discern the will of God. So last but not least is communication through prayer, guys. Communication through prayer. First Thessalonians 5.17 says, pray without ceasing. As you are bringing your questions, your actions, your concerns before God, and then you are running it by the Holy Spirit and fellowshipping with him through scriptures. He will actually be ready to help you out in everything and in all circumstances. James 5.13 says, Is any of you troubled? Is any of you suffering? Let him pray. So prayer, pray consistently. Ask God to help you. Ask God to, you know, reveal his blueprints for your life. Ask God to let you know if whatever you are doing aligns with his will. And then the more time you spend in prayer, the more time you pray without ceasing, the more time you are intentional about doing certain things, God himself will show himself strong in your life. And then you know that this is not just a sprint. It's a marathon. It's a journey. And then you are still in the process. We all are in the process until eternity. We've all not discovered our purpose Fully. one thing will lead to the other and the one thing i love about um jackie o perry she she gave a quote that it's not our hearts it's not um our busy schedules that keep us away from prayer our hearts actually do a friend of mine gave me a frame like that i'll screenshot it and maybe i'll include it 
in this for you to see to constantly remind you that it's not your busy schedule that keeps you away from prayer it's actually your heart that keeps you away from prayer or at any time yeah at any time too you can actually be praying and then asking god to help you in everything i will you know elaborate more on this prayer thing but with this i've come I've come, I've come to the end of this eight C's of discovering the will of God for your life. Thank you so, so much. Let us pray. Dear Lord and Master Jesus, we thank you so, so much for everything. We thank you for your word so sweet. We thank you that you gave us this word, oh God. We pray that as we've learned the ACs, that will help us descend and discover your will for our lives. You'll be able to help us navigate through this world and then we'll be able to know that your will for us is actually good and then you are actually having us at heart god anything that doesn't represent you oh god in our lives we pray that you take it away anything that doesn't allow you to manifest your will and your glory in us we ask that you god will take it away in jesus mighty name we've prayed with thanksgiving amen please don't forget to subscribe to share and comment and then to like this video it's totally free for you and then it means the world to me thank you so so much i love you bye Mwah.